So we're going to see two methods of drawing a cantilever slab or a balcony slab or a veranda slab, whatever you want to call it. So this is the slab that we're going to learn to draw in EDAPS. Okay, so first let's delete it. Now for the first method, uh, we are going to draw a join point object and then we're going to use that. So I'm going to draw a cantilever slab here which will have the same length as this slab uh, on this side and on the width side it's going to be a uh, thousand millimeters long or one meter long so let's first we're going to go to draw and then we're going to take draw joint objects now it's going we're going to take a point right here okay about uh, minus thousand millimeters in the negative y direction so let's write minus thousand and then let's click on this joint here okay so our object is there then we're going to choose this um, option of drawing slabs click on there and we're going to choose our s125 slab you can choose any slab you want I'm just taking that one then we're going to click on this corner and hold on to that click and then drag your mouse to this joint point object and then let go okay so here you have it your cantilever slab has been drawn now for the second method let's delete it again let's delete this one as well we're going to draw a beam here that will have no material properties at all and then we're going to draw our slab so first let's take draw beam we're going to take property none here's a property called none you can see we're going to choose that and then we're going to take offset again for minus thousand millimeters then we're going to specify this point first and then this point so as you can see we have a beam that has no property no material property now we're going to choose this we can either choose this option or this option for drawing rectangular slab so i'm taking this option this time so first i'll specify first point then i'll go to second point and i'll specify this point and then the third point and then hit enter as you can see your slab has been drawn or similarly you could just use this option for drawing the slab then you're going to click on this point click on hold drag your mouse to this point and then let go and that's how your slab has been drawn now you can either keep the beam there since it has no material properties or you can just select on it and delete the beam so you'll just have the slab now so let's look at it in the 3d view here's the 3d view let me just extrude it and here is our cantilever slab sorry about that the slab that we have drawn is the slab so that was it thank you very much for watching this video and if you want to know how I changed my background color there's another video for that you'll see the video pop up anytime now you'll just click on that and learn that as well thank you very much